One of the many factors in choosing a camper is the diversity in pricing. If you're looking to buy one, then you probably got the money to spare, but that doesn't mean you want to spend all of your hard-earned cash. I'm Reacher, and for those of you getting paid in something other than pizza and beer, here's our list of 15 campers under $10,000. Number 15. This first entry is one of a few of the teardrop style campers on this list. The Sunray Model 109 from Indiana based Sunset Park RV has the standard layout you've come to expect, just with a few minor differences. The most noticeable is the interior sleeper. Instead of the traditional mattress on the floor, there's bench seating along one wall that has an extending platform underneath the dual purpose cushion, which can be unfolded as needed. A rear hatch opens up to the kitchenette, which goes the extra mile with its oversized stainless steel sink, dual burner cooktop, microwave, and a six cubic foot refrigerator. Number 14. If I told you that you could fit two full-size tents on top of this one, you'd probably be a bit skeptical. But it's a thing, and here's a photo to prove it. The box-like shape of this off-road towable has an interior measuring 7 feet in length and just under 5 feet in width, providing plenty of room for a full-size mattress and storage compartments all around. The access door to the rear kitchen opens to the side instead of up, which adds a unique touch but takes away the added benefit of a built-in roof over the cooking area. Number 13. The days of needing a big vehicle to pull your camper are long gone due to the number of companies marketing small campers. The Camplet from UK-based Isabella is no exception measuring just 10.5 feet in length with a dry weight around 600 pounds. An added bonus is a special bracket that allows the trailer to be stowed away on its side in a standard home garage. Once on site, the trailer is opened and the attached tent is set up to create a sleeping area for up to four people along with a central living space that maxes out at 194 square feet. Along with all of this is an optional kitchen that can be attached to the tailgate of the trailer as well as extra annexes that increase the usable space. Number 12. This mini trailer from Chilean based Camp Box is another one made for the extreme outdoors. It comes in four different models, each utilizing a trailer that has an external rear storage compartment and an internal sleeping area that can fit a full size mattress. The differences in each one are the added features, which include a side awning and rooftop tent, a slide out kitchen in the front, along with side mounted fold down prep tables, and a 100 watt front mounted solar array. Number 11. This handy little trailer from TC Teardrops is the perfect starter for anyone wanting to get into the small camper life. And though it may be smaller than most, measuring just four feet wide by eight feet long at its shortest, it's got more than enough room to put everything in. Each one has the standard setup, employing an outside kitchen area accessible via a rear hatch while dual doors, one on each side, provide entrance to the sleeping area. Additional features include a side-mounted shower unit, an awesome batwing-style awning, and an even awesomer bunk bed for the children. Number 10. If you like the idea of back-to-basics camping but don't want to sleep in a tent on the ground, then this entry may be just the one you're looking for. The GFC platform camper is made up of a tubular steel framework, composite panels for the side walls and roof, and vinyl fabric for the tent. The roof raises at an angle, creating a sleeping area above the bed of the truck that can be configured for one or two people. The side walls can be used open or closed, and if needed, they can also be removed to allow the vehicle to haul cargo without removing the camper. Number 9. For those of you who might not be driving a vehicle with four wheels, we thought of you as well. This ultra-tiny teardrop-style trailer is composed of a steel framework with an aluminum shell measuring just three feet wide, four and a half feet long, and just over two feet tall. If you're wondering how this one manages to function as a camper, the secret is the fold-up floor that also serves as a sleeping area. When the bedroll is opened, it expands to a length just under eight feet. 
There's even an included storage area in the rear for housing the basic cooking essentials. Number eight. At first glance, the teardrop shape of this one doesn't stand out due to the simple color scheme and lack of extras attached to it. But that's the idea behind the dewdrop from Oregon Trailer. The company was going for a design that was simple and didn't have to be towed by a large vehicle, which shows as its dry weight is roughly 550 pounds. The lack of a rear space, which usually utilizes the kitchen and food prep area, helps make both of these possible. The interior is basic as well, having only a sleeping area for a full-size mattress, shelving at each end, and a single light fixture. Number 7 We included the fancier big brother of this one on our previous list of campers under $20,000. Although it's not the same model, it's still the same quality at a little over half the price. Along with the single side door, two rear doors open to an interior that measures 9 feet in length with a width just over 5 feet. Inside is a front mounted storage cabinet that contains a Bluetooth stereo system, USB ports, and plug-ins as well as a floor space big enough for a queen size mattress. Just like the previous entry, this one doesn't have an attached kitchen, but it does have options such as a tent that can be attached to the rear to increase the living space and one of those ultra cool batwing style awnings. Number 6 When I think about camping, I think of things like travel, adventure, and hiding out from the law. And this next camper might be just what I need for all those things. It comes in three versions, the basic, the deluxe, and the premium, each with a dry weight just under 1,100 pounds, making it light enough to be towed by most mid-sized vehicles. Standard features, which are dependent on the version, include a double floor with removable panels to access extra storage, a tri-fold queen-size mattress, and a full kitchenette in the rear that includes a flush-mounted stainless steel cooker and sink, along with a slide-out cooler. Number 5 National Geographic Adventure hailed this one as the coolest camper ever. Assuming their judgment isn't as impaired as mine, we can trust that statement. This lightweight aluminum frame pop-up weighs in at 840 pounds with a cargo capacity of 960 pounds between the deck and the top rack. The dual-purpose use of a cargo trailer which converts to a camper makes for smoother travels when you have somewhere to stow your extra gear during transport. The spacious interior has a 6.5 foot height as well as multiple configurations for dining and sleeping. The attached awning provides an additional 46 square feet of usable space for those requiring a bit more outdoor time. Number 4 Just like the earlier camplet, the Stockman Quick Campa 2 is a trailer tent combo, only a lot more on the rugged side. Once it's opened, an attached annex covers the top and rear of the trailer for a total footprint of 65 square feet. The main area inside houses a full-size bed with a slide-out storage tray underneath, while outside is a 135 square foot swing-around awning and slide-out kitchen that's hidden away in the front storage boxes. Number 3 of all the trailer tent combos on the list, this one has to be the most organized regarding functionality as every compartment is accessible without having to set anything up. It measures in at just under 11 feet long and 5 feet high with a width just over 5 feet. The primary storage includes a full-size outdoor kitchen with a slide-out cooler. Directly above this is a cargo deck that can hold up to 600 pounds while an elevated platform with a rooftop tent finishes out the mix. The Wooly Bear has a dry weight of just 990 pounds and a tongue weight around 140 pounds, making it the ideal camper for most four-cylinder vehicles. Number 2 This entry almost took the number one spot due to it being light enough to be towed by my Prius, and it just looks cool. Setup on this one is easy as all it requires is raising the rear roof panel and securing the included tent. 
Inside, you'll find a full-size bed, a countertop with a sink, refrigerator, and heater on one side, while opposite that is another countertop with an air conditioner and a Bluetooth stereo. Although there is an included portable toilet, additional bathing facilities aren't included in the standard model. We wanted to give a shout out to Canine Campers for their creative take on houses and beds for our little four-legged friends. As you can see from these photos, they put a lot of detail into their work. If you're looking for a bit more info, the link to their Facebook page can be found in the video description. Number 1 Although its color scheme gives the impression of a basic design, this is every bit of what a contemporary caravan should be. The box shape with its rounded front end measures just under 16 feet in length and 7 feet in width with an internal height of 6.5 feet. In the front is a small dinette that converts to a sleeper. Moving back, you'll find a sofa along one wall, while opposite that is a small kitchenette. In the very back is a corner bathroom with a small tub and stand-up shower across from the entrance. There you have it. Whether you're broke, frugal, or just need the basics, this list should help you out. Be sure and let us know in the comments what your thoughts were on our choices as well as any suggestions you think should have made the cut. Also, don't forget to throw in your guesses for the trivia campers. The grand prize on that one? You get to lie and claim you're the smartest person in the room. If something with a bit more to it is more your style, then be sure to check out our camper video playlists. We've got a little bit of everything in those, so if you can't find one to suit your needs, then rewatch everything because you probably missed something. Once again, I'm Reacher, and as always, thanks for watching.